From the very moment we draw our first breath, the world endeavors to define the boundaries of our capabilities. Yet, across the annals of history, there are those exceptional individuals who have boldly defied these boundaries, showcasing extraordinary abilities that not only astound but also inspire. Their remarkable talents span a wide spectrum from the artistic to the physical. What if the extraordinary, against all odds, is concealed within the ordinary? Join us as we show you 17 rare humans with abilities that will shock you. Number 17. The Mini Hulk While super strength is usually the stuff of comic books, the extraordinary power displayed by Liam Hoekstra from infancy shows it can manifest in real life under the right genetic conditions. Thanks to a rare genetic mutation, causing extremely low levels of the protein myostatin, Hoekstra was dubbed the Mini Hulk for the eye-popping strength and muscularity he exhibited even as a toddler. Born in Michigan in 2005, Liam astounded doctors as early as five months old by doing full chin-up pulls and standing unassisted. By eight months, he could walk up and down stairs without help. At three years of age, Liam could perform multiple angled push-ups without breaking a sweat, casually hang from pylons, and even piggyback his father for a 30-minute uphill hike. Hoekstra's strength exceeded that of most adults, let alone children his age. The source of Liam's power comes from his lack of myostatin, as revealed in testing when he was five. Myostatin is a protein that inhibits muscle growth and prevents muscles from becoming too large. Those deficient in myostatin experience dramatically increased muscle density and strength. Researchers found that Liam had much lower myostatin levels than normal, freeing his muscles to balloon in size and power. Now a teenager, Liam can deadlift over 210 pounds, bench press 155 pounds, and squat lift over 240 pounds, well in excess of his body weight. Footage shows him effortlessly crunching sit-ups with the six-pack of a professional bodybuilder. He can also grip-squeeze challenges that no one else can budge. According to his mother, the true extent of Liam's strength remains unknown. They stopped testing the limits of his power to avoid injury. As Liam continues to mature, his myostatin deficiency may lead to even greater raw power. Number 16. Neurodiverse Genius While labeled autistic and epileptic, Daniel Tammet manifests astonishing savant abilities that overturn stereotypes. His facility with numbers, memory and languages paired with synesthetic sensory perception exemplify the extraordinary gifts that can accompany neurological differences. Born in England in 1979, Tammet displayed prodigious aptitudes from childhood, despite challenges like impaired social skills. He experienced early seizures, but exhibited savant talents like reciting over 20,000 decimal places of pi from memory. Tammet's numerical fluency extends beyond rote memorization, however. He has an intuitive, almost emotional sense of numbers relationships. Remarkably, Tammet visually perceives integers as complex, multidimensional landscapes with unique textures, shapes, and colors due to synesthesia. While most see numbers as just abstract symbols, they exist for him as intricate, dynamic entities pulsing with their own personalities. This synesthetic perception enables feats like learning new languages rapidly by intuiting words underlying numerical properties. Tammet proves brains need not be wired typically for genius to emerge. Where many see disability, his mind overflows with latent gifts and singular talents. Neurodiversity's atypical connections can unlock natural brilliance less constrained by conventional limitations. Number 15. The Real Rain Man Kim Peek represents a one-of-a-kind savant phenomenon, possessing a flawless memory that absorbed over 12,000 books verbatim throughout his life. Peek's astonishing recall and syncretic knowledge exemplify the towering heights possible when neurological differences unlock dormant mental gifts. Born in Utah in 1951, Peek's brain diverged from typical anatomy due to macrocephaly and damaged corpus callosum. Despite grim prognoses, his intellectual capacities eventually blossomed, revealing uncanny memorization and connection-making abilities. Peek could read pages of text once and recite them perfectly, even decades later. But he didn't just accumulate facts. He linked disparate details into an integrated mosaic of understanding. 
Doctors were astounded that Peek absorbed information so rapidly across subjects like history, math, geography, sports statistics, literature, and more. He could recite random entries and associated data entirely from memory. When asked about a date centuries past, Peek could instantly respond with contextual trivia. His mental library exceeded 12,000 volumes entirely committed to flawless recall. Equally remarkable was Peek's ability to identify patterns between far-flung facts. Though unable to button a shirt, he could connect the atomic weight of rubidium with its year of discovery and chief mining locales, for example. He drew links between diverse topics, leading to profound insights. Peek saw information not in isolation, but as a unified web of meaning. Tragically, Peek's gifts came at a cost. His handicaps made everyday life difficult and social interaction uncomfortable. Yet through public appearances, he found purpose in sharing his talents. Peek's legacy lives on as the inspiration for the classic film Rain Man, number 14, Modern Day Samurai. Blinding speed meets pinpoint precision in Izao Machi, heir to Japan's ancient samurai legacy. As an Iaido master, his sword skills verge on precognition, able to slice targets accelerating faster than perception should allow. Machi embodies the exquisite edge attainable when mind and movement operate as one. Born in 1963, Machi practiced martial arts extensively, achieving high ranks in karate. But his true passion lay with Japan's elegant sword traditions. After dedicated training, Machi attained abilities surpassing textbook techniques. His slicing prowess exhibits almost extrasensory control and timing. In demonstrations of superhuman focus, Machi has cut airborne targets like bullets, lotus flowers, and bamboo shoots without nicking them. Slow motion footage reveals Machi's feats aren't just speed. They combine decisive action with seemingly impossible reaction times. He appears to anticipate trajectories before they occur. His sword doesn't just meet the target exactly, but aligns to its hidden meridian in the instant it appears. Such skill exceeds simple athleticism. Number 13, French Spider-Man. Alain Robert, nicknamed the French Spider-Man, perplexes audiences worldwide with his ability to scale towering skyscrapers using just his bare hands and climbing skills. Without ropes, harnesses, or any safety equipment, Robert relies solely on fingertip grip strength to ascend hundreds of feet into the air. This daredevil climber has tackled over 100 of the tallest buildings and monuments on the planet. Born in 1962 in Valence, France, Robert discovered a passion for climbing as a young boy. He honed his skills scrambling up rocks, trees, and buildings in the area. As a teenager, he began street performing by scaling local structures for onlookers. His hobby soon became an obsession. In the 1980s, he pioneered free solo climbing up skyscrapers, starting with France's tallest tower. Robert's extensive climbing experience, natural talent, and finger and arm strength let him achieve the impossible. Some of Robert's most famous climbs include scaling the Eiffel Tower, the Empire State Building, Petronas Twin Towers, and Burj Khalifa, often several times. He has also tackled landmarks like the Sydney Opera House, Montparnasse Tower, and Golden Gate Bridge. Though his climbs are always illegal, he continues undaunted at age 60 motivated by the pursuit itself more than fame or fortune. His only climbing gear is a bag of chalk dust to keep his hands dry. Number 12. The Breatharian Mystic. The Sadhu Prahlad Jani claims a supernatural feat most consider impossible, surviving over seven decades without any food or water, sustained purely by spiritual power. Devotees regard him as a Breatharian who lived for years in a divine state free of hunger or thirst. Born in 1929 in Charada, India, Jani left home at age seven to pursue a mystic's path, renouncing worldly needs. By his late teens, he claimed cessation of food and water intake, saying the goddess Amba sustained him indefinitely. For the next 75 years, Jani allegedly consumed nothing at all. In 2003, after 15 days under strict observation, Medical exams showed Jani's metabolism remained normal without signs of dehydration. Doctors conceded he endured through extreme fasting and fluid restriction. Skeptics consider breatharianism physically impossible. The body inevitably wastes away without nutrients or water. 
However, Janny's case remains an extraordinary account of adapting to deprivation through spiritual devotion. While deemed unattainable, he apparently pushed human endurance boundaries and flirted with the miraculous. Johnny passed away in 2019 at the age of 90. His life evokes timeless tales of yogis transcending mortal demands. Number 11. Mr. Eat Everything In the world of outrageous eating feats, no one tops the French entertainer Michel Lotito, who earned the nickname Mr. Eat Everything for his ability to consume metal, glass, and other objects that should be impossible to swallow. While most humans could barely stomach an aluminum can, Lotito could happily snack on bicycles and shopping carts thanks to his extraordinary digestive tract. Born in 1950 in Grenoble, France, Lotito discovered his unusual talent as a teenager when he began eating shards of glass and fragments of metal without any harm. Doctors found that he possessed an abnormally thick stomach lining and powerful digestive acids that allowed him to consume almost anything. For most people, chewing through metal, wood, or plastic could cause severe internal lacerations and toxicity. But Lotito's stomach was virtually indestructible. Capitalizing on his special gift, Lotito began performing public eating demonstrations that pushed the boundaries of belief. No mundane foods for him. He preferred a diet of nails, razor blades, broken light bulbs, and lit cigarettes to shock the crowds. In 1966, his first major feat was consuming an entire bicycle over two years, piece by metal piece. In 1980, Lotito stepped it up by downing an entire television set. Two years later, he exceeded that by scarfing down a shopping cart. Neither gave him any trouble going down. By this point, people were hailing his stomach as a chemical reactor, able to dissolve almost anything with its powerful secretions. Lotito's most legendary accomplishment came in 1997 when, at age 42, he consumed an entire Cessna 150 light aircraft. Never one to shy from a challenge, Lotito dismantled and ate the entire plane except the frame and engine, including the glass windows, tires, and aluminum siding. It took roughly two years to fully consume the estimated 1,500 pounds of metal and rubber. Amazingly, Despite a diet high in indigestible materials, Lotito suffered no ill health effects apart from feeling sluggish after large meals. His only side effects seemed to be strange metallic burps and the occasional intestinal blockage after swallowing oddly shaped metal chunks. Doctors surmised his gut may have developed an unusual ability to compartmentalize toxic metals, preventing wider poisoning. Sadly, Lotito died of natural causes in 2007 at the age of 57, ending the career of one of history's most unlikely eating champions. Number 10. The Living Camera Stephen Wiltshire exemplifies a remarkable savant talent. The young British artist and architectural draftsman can draw panoramic cityscapes perfectly from memory after a brief glance. His mind operates akin to a living camera, taking vivid photographic mental images that he can reproduce in extraordinary detail. Wiltshire demonstrated early gifts in drawing and memory as an autistic child. Born in London in 1974, he was mute until age five, but became fascinated with sketching animals and buildings from an early age. His teachers soon realized he could reproduce intricate scenes like London landmarks from memory alone after briefly studying photographs. By age seven, Wiltshire could draw perfectly proportioned reconstructions of subject matter after a single brief look. Now in his 40s, Wiltshire's ability has gained him fame as one of Britain's top savants. He has produced countless drawings of cities around the world. After a short helicopter ride or walk, Wiltshire can churn out stunningly accurate pen and ink cityscapes, capturing details like windows, arches, and the exact number of pillars on a bridge. His lifelike memory even applies to organic subjects like animals and plants, which he can reproduce flawlessly. Wiltshire's natural eye appears closely linked to his autism, reflecting enhanced visual memory circuits in the brain. He describes buildings and scenes as vivid high-resolution snapshots imprinted instantly in his mind. MRI scans confirm Wiltshire shows hyperactivity and additional gray matter in areas linked to his unusual savant talents. Where most minds record experiences using clumsy mental Polaroid photos, Wiltshire burns images onto his brain with laser precision. A visionary gift autism paradoxically granted him. Number 9. The Iceman. Stan Lee himself might have created a superhero like Wim Hof, 
A man wielding supreme command over cold, able to withstand freezing conditions lethal to ordinary humans. But the extraordinary powers of this real-life Iceman are no fiction. Through decades of intense training, the Dutch adventurer Hoff has mastered his body's thermostatic abilities beyond what science considered possible. He can regulate core temperature using sheer mental willpower, combined with specialized breathing techniques. Ice baths that would immobilize a normal person barely phase the Iceman. Hoff first experienced cold's transcendent power as a teenager in Amsterdam, taking lengthy dips in frigid water. He began formulating methods to endure cold willfully, leading to abilities like standing submerged in ice for hours without hypothermia or muscle failure. In one stunning demonstration, Hoff bundled in a thin coat and shorts remained fully immersed in ice for nearly two hours while his core temperature actually increased. The Iceman has completed an astonishing 26 world records, including the longest ice bath endurance. In the Himalayas, he ascended over 20,000 feet, wearing only shorts and sandals. His body can prompt vasodilation to protect critical organs against freezing when exposed. Doctors conjecture his skill arises from influencing the autonomic nervous system, regulating involuntary functions through sheer determination. Number 8. The Battery Man When it comes to handling electricity, Serbian Slavisa Pajkic has astounded the world by withstanding currents of over 20,000 volts coursing through his body, enough to power over 5,000 households. Thanks to an incredible resistance to electricity's effects, he earned the nickname Battery Man, Born in 1966 in Leskovac, Serbia, Pajkic discovered his powers accidentally as a teenager. While repairing a TV, he touched a live wire that should have shocked or electrocuted him. Instead, he felt invigorated. Realizing electricity had little effect on him, Pajkic began experimenting by touching appliances and outlets. He soon realized he was impervious to voltages that would seriously harm or kill ordinary people. Capitalizing on his special gift, Pajkic turned it into a performance career. His voltage-defying stunts soon attracted global attention. In public demonstrations, he allows massive electrical currents to pass through him, producing fiery arcs of electricity. The sheer power unleashed blows out bulbs, melts objects, and explodes fruit while leaving him undisturbed. In 1980, Pajkic set a Guinness World Record by calmly withstanding a 20,000-volt shock passed through his body, approximately the power of a lightning strike. He uses his hands as human terminals, taking currents that should trigger cardiac arrest or terrible burns, yet he emerges unscathed. Rigorous medical exams have confirmed that Pai Kitch's abilities are genuine, not an illusion. His body somehow redirects electricity through non-vital paths to prevent tissue damage or electrocution. He sees harnessing high voltage as his unconventional but useful talent. Number 7. Supervision Woman Veronica Sider's visual abilities defy imagination and rewrite the assumed boundaries of human eyesight. This German woman claims she can clearly see small text over a mile away and microscopic details magnified to impossible levels unaided. Real-world superpowers vintage comic books ascribe to heroes. Sider's extraordinary vision first came to light in the 1960s as a student at Stuttgart University in Germany. She astonished her professor by reading tiny writing on a postage stamp over 200 feet distant. Formally tested, Sider proved she could distinguish people waving over 1.5 miles away, a feat only possible for most humans using binoculars or scopes. But Sider's supervision extends beyond ultra-distance clarity. She can also identify objects smaller than the wavelength of visible light, essentially seeing underlying atomic granularity. Under controlled conditions, Sider demonstrated reading normal newsprint from over 30 feet away. She identified insects and plant anatomy invisible to others except under a microscope. It needs to be clarified how she developed such visual hyperacuity. One theory suggests an elongated eyeball shape, reducing light refraction errors. Skeptics argue some visual aids must be involved, as her reported clarity exceeds calculated limits. Yet Sider's abilities withstand scrutiny. Her sight has been repeatedly verified as among the most extraordinary on record. Whatever its origins, her vision convincingly overturns mainstream ophthalmology. Sider reveals the phrase, Hawkeye, to be more than just a metaphor. Her eyes exemplify the marvels possible at the far end of the visual bell curve. 
granting a superhuman glimpse of reality's fundamental fabric. She focuses our awe at the untapped potential lying dormant within us all, awaiting the right mutations to unlock it. Number 6. The Daredevil Vision is something most take for granted, relying on our eyes to perceive and navigate the world. But Daniel Kish demonstrates extraordinary adaptation is possible even without sight. After losing his eyes to cancer as a toddler, Kish taught himself to see using sound, granting him enough sensory perception through echolocation to live a highly active life. Born in Southern California in 1967, Daniel's life changed forever when aggressive retinal cancer claimed his vision by age 13 months. Yet he refused to let blindness restrict him. With encouragement from his family, Kish pushed traditional limits, devising his own unique ways to map his surroundings. Inspired by bat echolocation, he learned to emit sharp tongue clicks and interpret the sound reflections. This allowed him to identify objects and build mental images of spaces to move confidently. Now in his 50s, Daniel has honed his echo skills to uncanny levels. He can identify parked cars, trees, poles, and other objects through the patterns, letting him hike, mountain bike, and navigate new places using his cane with astonishing ease. In one demonstration, Kish could accurately identify which of two trees stood taller based only on his sound impressions. He plays basketball, goes surfing, and even dismantles car engines. Activities sighted people would find challenging. Kish believes echolocation comes naturally to humans evolutionarily. Given the right conditions, our brains can repurpose hearing much like bats. While unique in degree, Kish feels his proficiency shows the potential we all harbor to adapt when our senses fail. He sees the visually impaired as different, not disabled, with innate compensatory abilities waiting to manifest. Now an expert consultant, he promotes echolocation independence for the blind worldwide. Mainstream medicine once considered functional adaptation without sight impossible. But Daniel Kish embodies the incredible resilience of human cognition. His life proves that with creativity and determination, new paths can open to experience life fully, even without something as vital as vision. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Numerous individuals with extraordinary talents have achieved recognition through television, but there exist others whose remarkable abilities remain unrecognized. Take a look at these two images of women with extraordinary skills. The jaw-dropping manner in which one of them opens her mouth is truly remarkable. While an average person can open their jaw up to a certain extent, she appears to possess an exceptional talent that sets her apart. One can only imagine the sheer power behind her biting force. The second lady displays an impressive level of flexibility. Are you familiar with either of them or someone with a special gift like theirs? Let us know in the comments below. Number five, the rubber man. Contortionist Daniel Browning Smith represents the extreme end of human flexibility. With a spine seemingly made of elastic and limbs that bend in unnatural ways, his rubbery physique defies musculoskeletal logic and sets new records for distortion. Smith was born in Georgia in 1979 and exhibited unusual flexibility early on. At age four, his parents noticed Daniel could twist his legs behind his head and perform other contortions well beyond normal children. They fostered his natural talent leading Daniel to become fascinated by flexibility extremes. He practiced vigorously, developing astounding skills that brought him global fame. Some of Smith's most notable contortions include rotating his legs full 180 degrees and placing both feet behind his head. He can also turn his torso 180 degrees, allowing him to face fully backward. Smith is able to dislocate his shoulders and hips partially to squeeze through unbelievably narrow gaps. Doctors have clinically confirmed that his pliancy is genuine, not an act. He can touch parts of his body together in ways that seem anatomically impossible. Smith owes his incredible malleability in part to genetic factors like hypermobile joints and extra cartilage in his extremities allowing greater movement between bones. An extra lumbar vertebra also increases his spine's bend radius. With diligent training, he's gained phenomenal voluntary control over these natural advantages. In his 40s now, Smith still actively stretches his limits. He holds over seven Guinness World Records and continues pioneering new distortions. Though unique in degree, Smith believes anyone can become significantly more flexible through training and dedication. We all harbor some untapped elasticity within. His own journey has simply taken natural gifts to prodigious levels. Number 4. Russian X-Ray Girl Natasha Demkina's extraordinary claims 
captured the world's imagination in the early 2000s. The girl who could look beneath the human exterior to see internal organs and diagnose illnesses. While controversial, she demonstrated an uncanny diagnostic ability that supported her supernatural vision. From early childhood in Saransk, Russia, Demkina said she could peer inside human bodies by sight alone. This enabled her to pinpoint medical issues and affected locations. As her reputation spread, she underwent preliminary testing in 2004, led by British researchers. In one study, Demkina assessed seven volunteers, six with conditions like enlarged kidneys and sinus cysts. She accurately identified problems in five of the six patients. Further testing proved inconclusive, however. In later trials, Demkina struggled to locate implanted prosthetics and other introduced targets. Critics suggested she relied partially on cold reading, inferring ailments from visible signs rather than actually seeing inside. Proponents argued she struggled to use her vision actively on command, working best in natural settings. Her early success rate remains difficult to explain by chance alone. Demkina's abilities never fulfilled their dramatic potential, but she focused global interest on the enormous mysteries that still reside at human perception's frontiers. While she failed to demonstrate true X-ray vision, Demkina offered a tantalizing glimpse of what might be feasible with radical sensory transformation. She exemplified that genius often dwells in the unexplained. Those who defy paradigms and remind Remind us that incredible potential still lurks beyond the horizon of the possible. Number 3. Malaysia's Magneto In a southern province of Malaysia, an uncanny real-life superpower has emerged. Lu Tang Lin, known as the Magnetic Man, for his ability to make metal objects stick to his skin without any evident magnets or trickery. This anomalous attraction power has brought Tung Lin fame and confusion in his homeland. A resident of Kampung Jawa village, Tung Lin first displayed his uncanny talent in his 30s. Local witnesses gasped as cutlery, pens, nails, and weights seemed to cling to his skin as if coated in invisible glue. News spread of the mysterious flesh that transformed into a magnet. Soon, Tung Lin demonstrated his magic for crowds, attracting bulky metal objects like stoves, plates, and shavers to his torso and face through an unexplained force. Teng Lin's magnetism is no parlor trick, experts confirm. Extensive testing by Malaysia's University Technology found no hidden magnets or other artificial sources creating skin attraction. They also verified no magnetic field emanating from his body. Normal physics cannot account for metal clinging to his skin of its own accord. However, one hypothesis does explain the phenomenon. Extraordinarily strong skin friction creating a suction effect. Scientists discovered Teng Lin's sweat ducts act like suction cups at the microscopic level, aided possibly by sticky skin oils that enhance adhesion. His genetic gift seems to induce human suction great enough to affix large objects. Remarkably, Teng Lin's talent isn't unique. Three of his grandchildren exhibit the very same ability to transform patches of skin into a metal-attracting surface. The family can decorate themselves with cutlery, pots, and kettles as though their flesh were outfitted with invisible Velcro. Teng Lin and his magnet clan display a human anomaly beyond modern biomedicine's explanation, but their wondrous powers captivate imaginations nationwide. Teng Lin embraces his difference, reminding all that strangeness is simply another of nature's countless variations. Number 2. The Sleepless Runner Dean Carnesies seems to embody superhuman stamina. No distance daunts him. Though not the fastest runner, his ability to keep going without rest over hundreds of miles leaves fellow athletes staggered. His body appears immune to exhaustion despite pushing physiological limits to their utmost extremes. Born in Los Angeles in 1962, Carnazis showed early passion for sports and endurance, but his ultra-marathon career ignited in adulthood after he impulsively ran a marathon without training and finished in under three hours. This improbable success inspired him to test his body's boundaries. He soon tackled ever more grueling distances, astonished at his resilience. Carnazis could run 30, 40, even 50 miles straight as though it were nothing. In 2006, he ran 50 marathons across 50 U.S. states for 50 days consecutive. Most couldn't complete two such races without days of recuperation. Carnazes' displays of seemingly limitless stamina continued. He once ran 350 miles non-stop for over 75 hours without sleep. His longest trek exceeded 380 miles without stopping, nearly the distance from New York City to Pittsburgh. Doctors are astounded at how he avoids muscle breakdown despite such distances. While unique, Carnassies believes his skills are reproducible. His body maximizes fat metabolism for energy, 
and clears waste lactate with superhuman efficiency. But much comes down to mental toughness, ignoring pain and pushing through barriers most would consider definitive limits. For him, running becomes almost meditative. Number 1. Aquaman Stig Severinsen represents the apex of human respiratory stamina. Combining extreme lung power with zen concentration, he has pushed the boundaries of underwater breath holding far past anywhere science believed possible. His feats evoke comic book sea kings at home fathoms beneath the waves. Born in Denmark in 1976, Severinsen was an elite swimmer who also practiced yoga and meditation. These latter disciplines led him to pioneering techniques for amplifying bodily control through sheer mental will, an advantage he soon applied to the sport of freediving. By regulating metabolism and heart rate, Severinsen found he could hold his breath underwater for increasing durations once thought fatal, exceeding 20 minutes. In 2012, he set a Guinness World Record for the longest breath hold while submerged, 22 minutes. For anyone else, this would quickly turn into a death-defying blackout. But Severinsen was able to enter a trance-like state of deep bodily calmness that conserved oxygen and delayed the compulsion to inhale. Using specialized breathing, he actually increased his heart and lung strength with training, boosting efficiency. His skills redefine the maximal edge of human lung capacity and hypoxia tolerance. Now in his 40s, Severinsen has set over four free-diving world records. By merging extreme physiology with psychic focus, he has stretched the boundaries of respiration beyond academia's accepted models. Yet he believes his abilities simply represent untapped potentials within us all, accessible through the same techniques. His aquatic mastery offers a glimpse of the tremendous dormant power people can wield over corporeal functions once deemed automatic and immutable. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.